Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Folio 94 ADM laptop also known as an HP EliteBook 94 ADM and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can boost up the performance on this one by just replacing the mechanical drive that they come in here with a solid state drive. Solid state drives are really fast and compared to mechanical drive, drives and I would recommend you guys to upgrade to solid state drive for this uh, processor. This is a really good processor, but the bottleneck is on the mechanical drive. Now, I recommend you always to grab a Samsung brand uh, SSD because these are one of the durable SSDs. They will give you much more uh, years of the usage to comparing to a low brand like Kingston or Adata. But if you want to go with a bigger capacity mechanical drives, you can do that. This laptop takes up to two terabyte mechanical drives because after the two terabyte the thickness becomes really big and it will not fit this takes a, takes a low profile mechanical drive so the low profile mechanical drives they are up to two terabyte but you can go up to four terabyte on an M uh, SSD because the SSDs are always the low profile no matter how big is the capacity so you can go up to four terabyte SSD in SATA also on this model you can put an m.2 ssds in here you can put a short m.2 which will be i believe 2260 m.2 which is like a half size in here i'm gonna go over that too and the combination that you should have all right so let's get into it and let's get it started it's really easy first thing you need to know once you do your uh, hard drive upgrade you will not have any hard uh, operating system on the new drives you need, I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive and I made also another video how to install it properly on an HP laptop. So once you have the new hard drive installed, you need to install your operating system. So back up your files on a cloud, on an external storage before you're doing any upgrade. All right, let's get into it and let's open it up. First thing first, you power off. You wanna flip it upside down. We're gonna remove the big battery right in the front. To remove this one, you wanna pull this trigger all the way to the left side and then you slide the battery towards the front of the laptop and you see a gap and then you just want to lift it up put the battery to one side the hard drive and everything is in this side so we're going to remove two screws these screws in here and this one these are phillips number one and they have a little spring to pull them up and there's a c-lock on the bottom side to prevent them from coming out entirely so we're going to grab the screwdriver. I'll use the iFixit screwdriver set as these are one of the best screwdrivers I've been working with. Phillips number one or number zero. Let's grab number zero. And we're going to loosen up this screw right over here. You see the spring just brings it up. This one too. Once we remove this one, we want to slide this cover towards the left side about like a half a millimeter as much as it lets go. And then you simply just lift it up, bring it up. Down here, you're gonna see the mechanical drive and the space for M.2. So this is a short one, the regular M.2 will go in here, but it will not close, it's really big, so you need one at least, which is like half the size. The one with the half the size for this one is a 2260. So you wanna to get the 2260 SSD to put it in here. And to remove this mechanical drive, there's a little caddy holding it in place. There's a four screws, one, two, three, four. These screws, again, they have a spring and a C-lock. So you need to loosen them up only. Loosen them up like that. All right. And then all you need to do is to pull it up a little bit, the back end, just a little bit, and then slide it outward gently. Don't yank up too much up, otherwise you're gonna crack the uh, connector here. You just wanna bring it up until you see the clearance right away here, so you can pull it back. Don't yank too high. All right, this is a Western Digital Black, 500 gigabyte. So if you wanna, let's say you wanna replace it to an SSD drive, uh, you see the SSD drive has the same connectors, so you wanna make sure the orientation is in the same place. You don't wanna put it the other way around, otherwise it's gonna be flipped, and it will not go through the connector. And you do, need, you do need this caddy, so to remove this caddy and bring it over to this side, you need to remove one, two screw in here, two screw in here, remove these two screws, grab the caddy, put it right on top, and the screw holes will match, and simply put it right through here. 
again this is a low profile or you can put a, any other mechanical drive with up to two terabyte so my suggestion would be to grab a i'm just gonna for demonstration i'm just gonna put this one back in to put it back in bring it down almost near to the board put the connected through in there and just set it down right in there and tighten up the four screws The combination for the hard drives I would recommend for anybody to do it is to go mix and go with a mechanical, big mecha mechanical, which, which would be a two terabyte or one terabyte mechanical hard drive in here and go with an SSD hard drive right here. This is an M.2 hard drive SSD SATA is not NVMe. So do not put an NVMe in here. Otherwise it's not going to work. Uh, this is not a PCI Express. All right, so once you have the M.2 in here, put your windows in here, you can put a two terabyte M.2, M and then keep this one as a secondary storage to put all your big programs, your uh, media, whatever you have in this one, so you don't tear, and you don't, you don't bring the life spam of the M.2 down, because they do get worn down by the terabyte that you write to it, so that's another thing. All right, with all this said, once you have you have made your upgrades, I'll leave the link for the screws for this one. These are M.2 screws. I'll leave the link where you can purchase them. So you can put the screw right on top once you put it down. You wanna grab the bottom cover, bring it over with an offset position. Just put it right there with an like a half a two millimeters offset position and then slide it inward and tighten the screws right on top. And the last thing would be to just grab the battery and put it, slide down the battery from the offset position, same thing, towards the back end and lock it down. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade for your SSD and, or hard drive. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. If you like this video, please click that like and subscribe to support the channel. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.